Hey guys, hope you all are doing great and welcome to my channel Permanent Canadian. So today we are going to talk about the topic of how to get a PR in Canada. I know you might have seen a lot of videos related to this topic. However, I'm sure this one is the easiest to understand which will help you implement all the procedures by yourself. This is like a do it yourself video and for sure you would not need any consultant after watching this video. So stay hooked and watch it till the end. Don't miss any of the steps. Before starting with the video, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, do subscribe, like and share it to share your love for me. Let's get started with the video. To obtain a successful PR for Canada, you must follow these 8 steps in the same order as I will be discussing. First step is to calculate your points according to the 6 selection factors in which you must score 67 points out of 100. Then you have to find your NOC and have to check under which stream of express entry you are eligible to apply. After that, you have to calculate your CRS score. Depending upon your CRS score, you can choose between step 4 and step 5. If you see your score close to the latest express entry draw patterns, then go ahead with step 4. For example, it is viable to get assessed if your score is around 450 or if you think that you will be able to get a PNP. Otherwise, use language ability test to boost your CRS score first, then go for education assessment. Because there is no point spending for education assessment just to be in the express entry pool. Consultants would tell you to do so even if your score is 350. But personally, I don't suggest it. Then creating your express entry profile and doing landing will be the other steps involved which will be discussed further in this video. Let me explain each stage step by step. First stage is to calculate your 67 points and if your score is not at least 67, then you have to improve your score first before proceeding to the next step. If you are struggling to boost your score, then let us know in the comment section. We may be able to suggest you something fruitful. You can evaluate your score from the link mentioned in the description. Second stage is to find your NOC, which means finding your occupation code on which your express entry application will be based upon. You can follow the link in the description to find your NOC. Also, to be considered as a skilled worker under express entry, your NOC code must fall under category O, A or B. For example, teachers, analysts, architects, doctors and many more. So candidates whose occupations are listed under NOC category C or D do not lose hope because you can apply as a PNP candidate where your job is in demand or under Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program. Once you find your NOC code, further you have to check under which stream are you eligible to apply. Please note, you might be eligible for more than one stream. In this case, you will be considered under both the streams. This is calculated automatically by the system. Still, you can see under which stream you will be eligible by following the link in the description. After the eligibility criteria, you must calculate your CRS score and see where do you currently stand. Link to check your CRS score is mentioned in the description. If your score is below 450, then do comment below with your age, education, language ability and work experience so that we can evaluate and suggest you what can be done to improve your CRS score. Step 4 is to get your education assessed through the authorized bodies in Canada such as WES, ICAS, CES, IQAS and International Credential Evaluation Service. Moreover, for the regulated occupations, there are separate bodies such as MCC and PEBC. The most important step in the PR process is your language ability test where you can prove your English or French language skills by two methods. So in English, you can take IELTS or CELPIP General and in French, you have to take TEF or TCF. You will be assessed on the basis of your knowledge and fluency in four modules, which are listening, speaking, reading and writing. And why I said that this is the most important step since you cannot change any other factors like your age, education or work experience quickly. But certainly, this is the only factor that you can change in your profile to boost your score instantly. Also, I have been listening from a lot of people that they are willing to pay someone to give them an IELTS report with high score. So let me clarify, this is all fake. No one can provide you with these kind of reports. And even if they do, it is for sure a fake one. So only person that can save you in language test is you. And what you have to do to save yourself is just to practice, practice and practice. 
So next step is to create your express entry profile in which you will be asked to enter your personal information related to your travel document, your education and work history and all other information related to yourself. I will be creating a step by step video on how to create your express entry profile. So do subscribe me on YouTube and press the bell icon so that when I update the video, you will be notified instantly. After creating your express entry profile, you should start gathering the documents which you have to upload once you receive your IDA so that you can prove that the information you provided while creating the profile are all true. So the list of documents is your passport in which you have to scan all the pages with stamps or any other observation. Then you have to collect your education documents, your employment documents, your ECA report, your language test report. Also, there are three important documents which must be submitted after you receive your ITA, which are your medical report, your police clearance certificate from every country where you have stayed for more than six months and proof of funds. You can also provide these documents to support your application. Then comes the seventh stage, which is when you receive your IDA, which looks like this. In this stage, you have to upload all the documents mentioned above. Here, they will ask you about your past residences and travel history for the last 10 years. So make sure to provide these details as accurate as you can. Then pay the application fees of $1,125 and submit all the documents. You will receive your AOR, which means acknowledgement of receipt that states the Canadian government has received your application for PR and they will start to process it. Now, you just have to stay calm and wait for the golden email. In the meantime, just prepare yourself for Canada, meaning get to know more about it, like which province you have to move in, get familiar with the transit system, apply for jobs online by telling the employers that you will be arriving soon so that they can consider you. Get in touch with employment agencies so that by the time you come, at least they can schedule interviews for you. Do not pay them unless you find them genuine. You can also ask about any particular agency by commenting on this video in the comment section so that we can research on our end and let you know to avoid any kind of scam with you. Lastly, you will receive the golden email from the Canadian Immigration stating that your application for permanent residency has been approved and they will ask you for your passport so that they can stamp the one-time travel visa with an expiry. So make sure to travel before that. Then just pack your bags, take all the essential items and don't forget to take a hard copy of your document in case the immigration officer asks for any document which you can show immediately. Then they will ask you to provide them with the address where you want them to send your PR card. It could be either your friend's or relative's place or your temporary residence. But make sure you provide that address where someone will definitely be there to receive a PR card. Now, I hope that I have cleared most of your queries related to Canadian PR. Still, if you want to know more, just comment below. I will try to answer each and every query of yours. I hope you all get your PR and your Canadian dream come true. If you like the video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, share my video to share your love for me and keep me motivated. See you soon. Till then, take care. Stay safe.